Well, federal workers are on strike, and it looks like they're having to work without pay, which is a form of indentured servitude. And if people don't pull their head out quickly, we're going to go into that scenario. They're testing it out, rolling it out, see how many people are going to put up with it. And it looks like there was uh, four plaintiffs that filed suit. This is not the 1800s where that was really a big problem back then. Now we have that scenario going on and that better wake people up. And if it doesn't, there's going to be a lot worse things to come in the downfall of this economic financial system that cares not about you, but cares about the occultocracy, dark occultists, criminal cacastrocracy. That's what I'm saying. It pays not to work anymore because if you get injured on the job, they don't care. They will replace you. They don't care if they're paying low-wage slavery jobs to make you impoverished. And they don't care if they happen to lay you off. So there you go. Example A of job insecurity and job instability. Having to take out a bank loan to subsidize your income while you get paid. All created on purpose by design. Do not be mistaken. I don't know why people don't want to take action and claim their right for high living standards of living arrangements. What is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you people? I mean, I guess the chemical violence has gotten to you to the point where you're just docile and apathetic. And I don't understand why people haven't taken more action against some of these corporations that are poisoning us to death and killing us. Covertly in the silent weapons for quiet wars. And if not effectively stopped, well, that's what you're going to be looking at. That's what your kids are going to be looking at. Indentured servitude, working for low wages, and they've got four college degrees, and they'll be making 10 bucks an hour. It's called parental suicide. That's another topic of discussion for a later date. But, again, that's what I'm saying. Example A of what it's like to be in this job situation in today's world where human exploitation for profit is the number one goal while you're impoverished and the people at the top are not and you're thinking you're going to have income job stability for the rest of your life like i said you'll be sadly mistaken out